Welcome everyone. <laughs> What's going on? Woo boy, we are back with another exciting episode of Super Paper Mario on Nintendo Wii. Grab your Wiimotes and wrist straps and let's join us for chapter three. Yeah? Chapter three? We already have three hearts though. Where's the disconnect? I love this game. Nah, I love giving this game a hard time. Cause it gives a, it gets a really, really interesting reaction out of some of you. And that's really why I like doing it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching! Hey guys, hi, how are you? What's going on? What's new and exciting? You guys ready for this? Okay, thumbs up in the comments if you are on board with the full-on... What is that? The full-on Mario, what is that? Paper Mario Marathon? Yes, yes, absolutely. So we got uh, Origami King happening in the middle of July. We're gonna be doing that. So until then, we're gonna be playing through every single main series Paper Mario game. In case you have missed the previous ones, oh wow, I have to update this playlist. Yeah, put it on my things a list, a list of things to do. Anyway, if you missed the previous episodes, go check them out. They're on my main channel page. Uh, go watch Paper Mario 1, go watch Paper Mario 2. Oh my gosh, love those games. Once you've officially watched those two playlists and, so and see how much of a fun time we had on those, please hold your reservations on my attitude towards this game. So anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I like to see how this game evolves and I like to see exactly what happened, um, you know, back in the day when we had such beautiful gems of Paper Mario 1 and Paper Mario 2 and then this game came out, which is like, hey, we got new gimmicks. Make sure you force these gimmicks down the player's throats. Okay, got it, boss. <laughs> anyway, what's up, Hostsmith? Uh, thanks, for, like, thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, so let's do this. We got chapter three today. We're gonna go in blind, like we usually do, so do me a favor and keep all the hints to yourself unless I blatantly ask you. Um, anyone that uh, does that will be subject to a harsh Banabel emoji. Absolutely. That's why we kept members chat on, because I, I don't need any help with the game. I'll figure it out. And I love the aha moment, right? Like that last episode's aha moment of like flipping on one side of the door. I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyway, thanks for coming. Let's do this, let's have a good time today, yeah? Uh, yeah, so I just got a brief memo from Mimi. It says I messed up bad. That's the message in its entirety. Yeah. Blah ha ha. She failed to best him even with my gift of power. A light prognosticus hero, descendants of the ancient tribe, their strength grows. Count Black! If it isn't, oh chunks! I beg ya, give me the honor of wailing on, wailing on this pack of nambly pamblies. Pack's a nambly pambly. I swear on me whiskers that I'll spank them like naughty little chirbles, I will. Oh, so oh chunks, yeah? You think you're all set to go? So I guess you finished up the report on uh, your own inadequacy that I needed. Ah, uh, you see, I, I just got a wee bit left. I'm working on me conclusion. Yeah. Gotta give me a break, me writing takes time, lass, and a thousand pages be a lot. Oh, Chunks, calm yourself. Take a minion time out, Count Black will send. Dementio, come to me, Count Black. Dementio is probably the best one, the best one out of all of these. Hey, welcome, Dennis09 uh, to the Mushroom tier, thank you so much. Uh, everyone, Paper Mario emotes in the chat, thank you. And so I arrive like a sudden windstorm at a kindergarten picnic. Ah, you'd like some playtime, I imagine, Dementio. So you shall have it, but do not disappoint Count Black. Dispatch this hero. Your wish is my command. Besides, this fool sounds like an amusing challenge. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll just be on my way. Ciao, my Count. Yeah, so, oh, Chunks, can you fill me in on why you're still not writing that report? A report? What are you? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, alright, I'm gonna... I'm going! You great beard tweaker. Count, let me just bring you up to speed on the current state of the castle. I still have to root out a few unconverted rogues, but I'll report back soon. Heroes, trying to save these pathetic old worlds. Black, says Count Black. Blah, their efforts are in vain. No one can stop Count Black. Just as no one can ease the tempest that rages in my suffering heart. Oh, my head. Oh, Ouija time. Yeah, yo, let's go. Let's go get uh, Princess Eclair, yeah? Hey, where am I? 
Oh yeah, now I remember. I was saving Princess Peach, but I screwed it up and... You awake, Green? Yeah, hey there, uh, bad guys. You doing alright? Yeah, we're doing okay. Good to see you made it. Figured he was done. Dude is tougher than he looks. So yeah, kind of awkward. Say, have you guys seen the princess and Bowser? Nope, not so much. You're the only one we found lying around here. Hopefully they're both okay. Get a load of this moron. Who cares about his friend? <laughs> uh, near as we can figure, most of the other minions got captured or something. And we're probably next. Why is this dude so calm? We're behind enemy lines. So Luigi, old buddy, what do you think about maybe getting out of here? We're thinking maybe you open up a path for us and we bail. We all bail. What you think? No, I couldn't possibly. I've got to save the princess. Man, wow. Did not expect that. All those stories about great Luigi's daring exploits. That's a little nod to TTYD right there. We heard you're the defender of the helpless. We have no one else. The great Luigi, you say? A daring defender? Me? Then I got no choice. Luigi must spring into action. My fans need me. Oh, you are the best. Man, that was way too easy. What a sucker. We're right behind you, but the second the going gets rough, we bail. Then follow me, brave uh, Goombas. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Luigi runs so much faster than Mario. Look at that. Okay. This is great. Can he duck? L Luigi can't duck? What do you mean Luigi can't duck? Alright, that's cool. So, the little continuity here is a little different. Um... Just based off of his text boxes, it feels like Luigi is kind of a scaredy, kind of coward, cowardly character. And yeah, I get that, like, I get that Luigi's Mansion came out and he got, like, a little bit of a personality change with that on GameCube. But, like, if you're looking at the canon of Paper Mario, and just Paper Mario games alone, I think it's kind of interesting, and uh, it doesn't really make sense, because, like, look, the second Paper Mario game, Luigi was a champ. Like, he was not scared of anything. Yo, he went on this extravagant adventure collecting, you know, all the compass pieces and saved Princess Eclair or whatever, and had all these really cool boss moments and cart driving moments, and he was like a champ. He didn't have this, oh, I'm so afraid aspect. So, I don't really know the direction of Luigi's character in this. If it's Global Luigi, or if it's Paper Mario Luigi. I don't know. Great Luigi, wait for us. <laughs> yeah, it's either connected universes or different universes, but I, I, I think that it's connected universes now. Uh-oh, it looks like the end of the line here. Oh boy, looks like you're right. Now, what do we do? Uh, shouldn't we look uh, for another way out, maybe? This guy's useless. If we stay put, somebody's definitely gonna spot. Gazork! Hail Black! Gary, no! Hmm, I've been looking all over for you. You! Yeah, you're that guy who really wasn't a team player back at the wedding. You're gonna need a little disciplinary action, I think, so let's get started, huh? Oh man, poor Gary. Alright, it's time for me to Goomba up. Hey, lady, got room for one more on your team? <laughs> hey, wait a second, what are you doing? Uh, what's it look like, genius? I'm getting with the winning team. Yeah, good call, love the enthusiasm there. Go ahead and swear your, you know, undying loyalty to the Count, and you're on board. Hey, count me in, lady, here we go. Count, here we go, love that count. You, you dirty traitor. Okay guys, new agenda. Hold this fool down so I can get his priorities on track. Yes ma'am. Whoa, whoa, hey no, Mario, where are you, help! Oh dang, they're gonna get his priorities on track. You're late, did something happen? Yes, my father caught me, sneaking out of the castle wasn't easy after that. I was worried you wouldn't come. You're a strange girl, you know what I am, and yet you do not seem afraid. I don't care what you are, I just wanted to see you. Is that, is that so wrong? No, no, of course not, I wanted to see you too. Blumiere! Do you mind if I sit next to you? Please do, timpani. 
Let's return to our conversation. I must know more of you. Bloomy Air and Timpani, who are these? Oh, welcome back, friends. How was your journey this time? Did you find Merle and obtain the Pure Heart? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. Merle said that we would need power of four heroes to save the world. Yes, Merle said that. Oh, is that so? There's more than one hero. Well, if Mar and Peach are two such heroes, then you still need two more. Look, over there. The void has grown. Hmm, I fear that our time grows short, dear friends. I will return to Light Prognosticus. You young ones seek the next heart pillar. But first, allow me to tell of something that Mystical Book has already divulged to me. One person will determine whether the Light or Dark Prognosticus predicts truly. Both books refer to him as the Man in Green. Whoa. But I know not what this means. I must return to my study to solve this conundrum. The Man in Green, huh? Uh, who could that possibly be? I have no idea. Alright, so uh, one of the things that we do have a power of right now is the Boomer Pixel. The Boomer Pixel will allow us to blow up a certain spot that I vaguely remember. I don't remember where, but there's something nearby. And we should be able to go. Yeah, the man in green. Probably Link. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on that one. Most definitely Link. Lonk. Okay, so there was a bomb wall somewhere. I'm going to... I'm just going to go up over here. Maybe it's upwards, maybe it's downwards. We'll do a little bit of exploration. Like, I just feel that this town... Like, these three tiers of this town are just super hollow, man. You know, and I need to actually be Mario. It sounds like super hollow, dude. This is this like hub. This hub is nonsense, man. All right, do we have any bomb spots? No, we got that crystal pillar, heart pillar, heart crystals, man. Crystal hearts, crystal stars. <laughs> oh man. All right, was there something on this side too, like bombs and whatnot? Or was there not a way over? Here we go. Let's take a look. And not a. All right, here we go. Moving, moving, moving. I'm curious. So what did you guys think of the first couple chapters of the game? Let me know. Cool? Interesting? Second floor. Okay. I really need to start learning what things are. Second floor has a little spot. Yeah, that's a big spot here. I don't know if this is where I have to go. No, it's probably on the very bottom floor. There's another... Yeah, there's an elevator down that way. Oh my gosh! Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Forgot about this. Heck yeah, let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, so now we're on the opposite side of this little fenced-in area. But for what? I don't know. Here we go. Is it gonna be something good? Oh, it's a music block. With a... it looks like a pixel on there. Some sort of new pixel character that we're going to need. We'll keep that in the back of our mind, alright? You guys remember this in the comments. You guys remember that we have uh, access to a, a pillar that shows a very special looking music pixel. And then maybe we'll have to use that a little bit later in order to um, open up a way somewhere forward. No idea. It'll be good, it'll be good. All right, so let's go down to the very first floor and that's where I kind of want to say the next little bomb spot is at. And since we have Boomer, we can access it over there. I haven't really been forced to use any items, either. It was more like a comfort thing, like, hey, I had Mushroom and I just wanted full health at the time, like, what's going on with these items? Oh, dang, okay, so we've got the cooking spot, we've got uh, this little house over here. Uh, here you go, that's the, that's the wall that I'm trying to crack right here. This is the one I was kind of remembering.
Uh-huh. What's up, dudes? How are you guys behind here? Grandma! Hey, Grandma! Uh, what do I need to do to live as long as you? Oh, that's simple, my dear. Early to bed and early to rise. Perfect. I'm asleep at... I'm asleep at noon at school. Ha ha. How many guys have ever... Hands up in the comments if you guys have ever slept in school. I did. I remember it was it was my advanced reading class, and I fell asleep. Um, <clears throat> what's up, Estel? Hey, I think you did the impossible. I'm actually liking this. I've never ever liked Mario. Thank you. Also, uh, also, for the awesome content as always. Hey, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. it. It's actually a cool game. I hear the story's pretty good. Sniff, snort. You smell the house of Merle. Did you go there? I, Hieronicus, also used to be a migrating bird, always traveling here and there, but. I tired of that. I do not wish to bore you. If it pleases you, come and visit me another time. Mm, I don't know what the heck your problem is. But you got some pretty cool Nyan Cat right over here. Do you guys see this little Nyan Cat? Looks like something straight out of like Cat Mario. Kinda cool. We'll have to look into this guy a little bit later. Um, what? So I, I took an advanced reading class in high school and I remember like I was just either really tired from the night before, and it was like one of the first periods, and like advanced reading, we were just like able to see, uh, we were just, it was like quiet reading time, and you had to practice your like skimming skills, uh, and I just like straight just dozed off, and uh, I don't think I got any repercussions off of that, but I felt really bad afterwards. Sup, dude? Hello, welcome to my shop, Catch a Dream. We sell novels so small they fit on cards. First time here? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. right -o, right -o. Available for purchase today, we have card bags and catch cards. A card bag is a little satchel that holds a single, filled catch card. You won't know the character until you purchase it. Oh, such heady excitement. A catch card is an amazing thing. Use it on an enemy, uh, and it turns that foe into a card. But you can use that, but you can only use them but once. If your foe is too powerful, it might not work. Oh, and if you have cards you no longer need, I would be glad to purchase them. Such are my wares, dear prospective customer. Do you want to hear that again? No. So now we're playing Pokemon. And then we've got a gotcha, which is like buy a card bag, and you're gonna get a random selectment, uh, selection. And uh, these are the ones that we have. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Okay, I mean, I, I, mean, I guess that's cool. So I guess this is your equivalent of using Goombella or Goombario as tattling, and then maybe there's like a card dex. The price of a catch card is a piddling 20 cards, is that satisfactory? I don't know, maybe. Like, what's the point of this? Whenever you have a, a, a particular enemy's card, it's going to make them, um, it catches an enemy's soul if it works. It's gonna make you do double damage against them, but like, Honestly, when do I ever need double damage? I'm out here bouncing on them multiple times for multiple points. It seems counterintuitive. Why would I... Okay, honestly, I'm, I'm honestly asking you guys, and you can feel free to let me know in the comments. Why would I want to double my damage when I could just jump on them one, two, three times and trick off of each one of them in order to get incrementally more points? Other than the 100% completion aspect of the game. Like, oh, I got every catch card. Like, tell me. Oh man, I'm so done for. The deadline uh, is close and I've got nothing, nothing. Man, I've been struck with what, uh, with that dreaded curse known as writer's flock. Wait, I mean block, writer's block, okay. Eight blocks, each color once. Eight blocks, each color once, interesting. Eight blocks, each color once? Hold on, I see something over there. Why is this sparkling? I saw this. You! That's a space rip. I hear these form to conceal hidden things. You have one job, Pixie, whatever your name is. You're you're here to reveal hidden things. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I saw something over there. To reveal hidden things. So I can't do anything about this rift. I'll have to keep that in the back of my pocket for now. Because there's a pathway behind that rift. Oh, so interesting. Okay, well. It said like eight blocks. One of each color once. Which is going to be a little hint of the next puzzle that I'm going to have to solve. In order to get the next little rift. Uh, or sorry, the next little, little heart thing. 
I don't know. Let's take a look around. Let's go down to the last one. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Like... <laughs> Pixel? What, what's her name? I don't even know her name. Okay, so do I have new abilities? I have Bomb and I have Thin. What in the world is this? Tippy, Tippy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tippy's got one job to reveal the hidden things, and then she finds a hidden thing and says, oh, it's just a hidden thing. Like, hello? Ah, hits the spot. Milk, straight up, the only way to drink milk. Ugh, no way. Come on, and take a load off. Uh, this is the beveragearium. Down low, the underwear. Ha ha, the owner of this joint. The name's Garson. Or Garcon. Um, so yeah, welcome and all that. Listen, in my line of work, I hear gossip, even if it's gossip I don't care about. But who knows, somebody might care about this stuff. Maybe even you. So yeah, if you ever want to talk, you know where to find me. Right here. For just a few coins, I'll tell you some interesting stories. No joke. How about no? I'm not gonna pay you. Like I paid those people in rubies in the previous chapter. A hole in the sky, you say? I don't care about that, you blabbering dolt. Ugh! Where's that cursed wordsmith gone? Okay. Oh, yeah, baby! Let's go, give me that. So I have Thin, and I have Bomb right now, so there's gotta be something. The Inter-Nerd card. You don't bother showing what the Inter-Nerd card looks like on screen whenever that pops up. What's your problem? Oh, cool. Mario can swim in this game? What is that? When did he earn this ability? Mario could not swim for the life of him. Actually, maybe he could have. It was just always the the little chomp chomp things that bit him out of the water. Interesting. Yo, talk to me. Greetings, name's Flim. Freelance, sales freak, fully licensed and bonded. Sell anything, sell to anyone, sell big, sell often, sell now. My slogan, trademarked. I sell stuff that's so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you, you heard me right. So, look and then buy. Catch card SP, wow. Almost always works. Oh, dang, golden leaf. Nah, there we go. Remember the golden leaf? We use that. Um, fresh pasta, big eggs. I mean, this is kind of cool, but I, I don't have any use for these yet. These are all just, like, catch card SP sounds like a great ball, or an ultra ball, um, in the Pokemon universe. Uh, so, yeah. So you want nothing? Color me flustered. Well, inventory changes like that, so quickly come back. Hey, look at this little house! What in the actual world? Hold on, hold on. What is that? Uh, does, is Mario going to get the ability to shrink? Okay, so there's a lot of things that I have to put in my back pocket right now. I have to put in my back pocket the little tiny house that somehow I'll be able to access. I have to put the little interdimensional space rift in my pocket. And wasn't there one more thing? You guys are in charge of reminding me. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't remember. Trying to figure out. Oh, okay, there's a save block here. This is good. This is basement two. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, that wasn't nice. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. There's stairs here. No? What? What the actual heck? You! Let's like, um, what is that? Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Little meat wad? I'm surprised you're finding me. I'm called Welderberg. I am the Iron Man of the Forging Pipes. Have you ever thought, ah, it's taking so long to get around town. Yeah, me too, and so my life's work is to make the pipes for transportation. I've inspected here. Yeah, I'm thinking I can make pipe to Flipside's tower base. What do you think of this? You're covering the cost of materials and labor, yeah? I can make such a pipe. You're looking not very rich. How about 100 coins? Uh, can I bargain with you? Okay, so I can't bargain with him. I just dropped a hundred coins. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting started. Just staying out of the way. This pipe is open 24 hours a day. Okay, got it, got it. Uh, life is short, so is smart. So take the direct way. Yeah, you spent with the wisdom. All right, well, I'm going. All right, me, Wad. See you, buddy. Weird. But I do like that. It's a uh, quality of life. It's absolutely quality of life, just adding the little warp pipes all over the place. 
All right, so more importantly, I have to figure this part out. This seems like a puzzle that I'm probably missing the obvious solution. Princess Peach can't jump that high. Um, I didn't see any... Tippy? You got anything, Tippy? Something is written here. Try reading it. Where? There's nothing written here on this angle. Sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> She's probably talking about that sign right there. Uh, Luigi doesn't jump any higher. Uh, I don't think I could blow these up. Mm, no, I can't go super thin. No, that, that's, there's, no, there's no point in that. Alright, well, maybe I have to come back to it. Thoreau? I don't think Thoreau can grab these blocks. No, he can't. Yeah, oh well, we'll figure it out. Maybe we're too early. Maybe we're too early and we have to come in from the other side. And then you come in from the other side, you hit the blue, uh, the blue switch, and then there's just going to be a stairway that shows up. That's my theory. Okay, so, yeah, now it's like, uh, we're just gonna be exploring a little bit more, see what we can see. If anything, I'll pay for, um, a tip as to where to go. We can't go underneath the water there, because there's a small house. You know, I should write these things down. I should. I'll open up my notepad right now. What are the things? Oh my gosh. Interdimensional rift. Okay, so, that was B2, there is, a uh, underwater to small house. Uh, B3, I think it was. You go and there is a, I don't know, block wall unjumpable. I don't remember which floor it had the interdimensional rift, but uh, there is that somewhere. So let's, uh, let's look around some more. Hello, Grandma. What can you teach me today? Have you met Walter, the old deer? His eyesight's going, I'm afraid. The other day, he looked at me and asked, Where did you come from, young lady? Oh, I love how he can still make me laugh like a schoolgirl. Okay... How about not? Pointless NPC house, great. Alright, let's see what's going on here. This is the cooking spot, this is the... someone else's house. Hello, you little painter. Oh, uh huh. Wow, I'm totally not gonna do that accent. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, 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 great, 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 good job, French guy. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, look, there's um, there's a little easel right here. And it's not even there. Kind of interesting. Ha ha. Little kid. Hmm, 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 this is the second floor. Oh, okay, so this is the warp that we did. So second floor goes to basement third floor. Oh no, basement two, I'm sorry, basement two. That's basement one. Cool, good to know. All right, so in case I wanna go really, really fast down there, we can do that. Maybe this guy will give me a little hint. Let me read that prognosticus, yeah? Uh-huh, uh-huh, flip side. Okay, great, so you got nothing for me, guy. Great. I'm like 10 seconds away from asking one of you guys what the heck's going on. I swear if this fortune teller Oh, hey, hold on. How much? 10 coins? More lovely? Alright, whatever. 30? Pfft. No, I'll explore a little bit more. 30's a lot, man. That's a good chunklet of my entire 200 coins. No thanks. I mean, I could save and then <laughs> learn it and then, like, reset the game. Like, you can do that to save the 30 coins, but I think I want to figure it out. All right, I'm gonna go like five more minutes of looking in this crummy linear town 
And if I can't figure it out, I'm gonna ask one of you guys, alright? Hands up in the comments if you know where to go, just don't tell me. Just, uh, hands up if you know, just so I know who to call on. Seems ridiculous. I'm gonna go in that pipe. Oh wait, I'm not gonna go in that pipe, because the pipe was from the previous pipe in the other area. Okay, got it. <clears throat> It'd be funny if no one knew. I know that there's people that are not able to chat right now that are just like, rolling in their seat. Because they think that's funny. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, I've got over 10 years of hindsight, and I'm looking at a guide right now. How do you not know this? Great, kid. Keep it to yourself. <clears throat> I'm looking at a guide right now. And I feel so much more special. Yep. Alright, so let's just take this linear. If I have to go into every single house, I don't care. I'll do it. There's nothing here, right? There's absolutely nothing here. Let me go this way. You know what? You know where I didn't actually go? I didn't actually go into the areas where um, I had previous little heart stuff. Like the heart little pillars and the little things like that. Maybe there was like a, a block that I just forgot about. It's those um actually people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yo, I know everything about this game. How did you not know that? Ugh. Why do I watch this guy? Oh my gosh, it teleports you all the way back? That's actually cool. Alright, I'll, I'll do that next time. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go inside that pipe over there and then we're gonna see exactly what we have to do. This pipe seems to be leading me deeper in, so maybe this is the rabbit hole that I just didn't choose to go in. Because I was uh, convinced that we had to use like Boomer and some other stuff. This is the outskirts. Oh, yeah! Whoa, hey, hold, hold on, hold on. Was I supposed to fall here? Didn't I not do this? Cool. Merlon and Merlovely. I mean, I could I could sell those for money. That's pretty great that you could just fall in there. Oh, look who's here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, dang, hold on. You're telling me that I can trick off of your little things and just milk you for experience? Huh. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. What do you say? Hey, hero, feel stumped. Try flipping around. It's pretty basic. You're basic. Dude, what? Where's oh, there we go. Sweet. I knew there was something. This is the way. Come on, man. I got some, some really tiny thumbs over here. Little baby's ice cream! Give me one of them. Just one. Ooh. Trick, girl! And oh my gosh, it's so stupid! <laughs> the controls are garbage. I'm holding the two button to parasol the entire time, and she drops like a rock. Excuse me? I'm out here trying to get a four combo. No, I don't want to beat them all in one hit and get a dried shroom. Ugh. Yo, this battle system is so good. Man. People love this battle system compared to the previous two Paper Marios. It's crazy. Believe it or not, opinions like that exist. No way, man. No actual way. Well, there we go! Yo, come on, Slim! Hey, there's a little uh, treasure chest over there. I saw it. Okay, good. <clears throat> it's not even a battle system. This is like Mario 1. <laughs> I don't know if this is pandering to like older generation folks with Nintendo Wii. That could be it. I don't know. I don't honestly know their their intentions, other than Big Boss at the time saying, hey, we got new hardware, make sure you incorporate Rumble, make sure you incorporate this new Wii Remote. I say, alright, cool. If those are only prerequisites, let's go. I think that that had to have happened. Okay, so the question is, how do I get that other treasure box? 
Yeah, I don't know what happened in the dev team and the directions on this game. Has there been any, like, published interviews? On, like, direction of art style? Oh, that thing's back. Good. I needed it. How in the world do I get to the other side? What? Okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out soon enough. I'll just do this with Mario. Come here. I don't need Peach. Okay, cool. This block looks very, um, very conspicuous. Like something's going on. Like I'll be able to push. Maybe there's like a push, um, functionality with one of these pixels soon. Uh, we'll just have to pocket this idea for later. B2 outskirts. All right, that's a little guy. We're gonna go peachy, peachy keen. Oh, those are those blocks again. We haven't seen those in a while. Yeah! Big combos, big combos. Spit a ball, dude. Spit a ball. Spit a ball. That's an extra 105 points. I love it. <laughs> Spit a ball, he says. I want even more combo. All right, so I'm going to go backtracking a little bit over here. We see that it is a little 3D. I'm going to go over here just for the sake of it. And nada. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't do anything. This pipe's in the way. Huh. There's no way Peach can make this. Are you kidding me? Because I hit my head, Parasol doesn't come out? Interesting. Short hop. Oh, you're dumb, Tippy. You're real dumb. I absolutely do not want to play I Spy with a with a Wiimote and pointing at my TV to find hidden stupid stuff. <laughs> Yo, I roll my eyes into oblivion on that one, man. Like, really? Like, it's obvious that there's something missing there, right? So you have to use Tippy. But like, come on. Oh my gosh, are we exactly where we were before? See? Yo, predicted, man. Absolutely predicted. You'd come in from another way, you'd hit the thing, and then it would make a stairway. Wow. Okay, pit of a- wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No, I'm not here to do pit of a hundred trials. Danger, do not enter. Flipside City Hall. Why do I care about the- I'm- I'm trying to advance the story! <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go in, man. I don't care. This is the entrance to a dangerous dungeon called the Pit of 100 Trials. Once you enter, it's not easy to leave. Do you want to go in? <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. Look, I'm here. I'm here. Four minutes in this? There's an actual timer? Interesting. So you can go all the way to the bottom? So this is what the Pit of 100 Trials looks like. You have to go beat up every little baby enemy. I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I can do it at this level. Possibly? I don't know. Oh, yeah, especially when you can't afford to jump on a Goombabwe. But now I get a little taste of what it is. It's pretty cool. Yo, that's cheap! Yo, I took two damage from a Goombabwe. Ooh! Oh, this is gonna be real fun. This is gonna be real fun in, uh, at the end. We'll do, on the final episode of this Let's Play, we'll do this. We'll be super powerful from there, and I'll have all of the healing items that I need from cooking and all that stuff. And we'll have so much HP. Wait a second, where in the world? Oh, nasty. Four minutes. 
I'm sure there's a way to get back to the top. So let's just do this for a couple seconds and we'll go from there. Gosh, I love shaking. I love shaking for extra points. My favorite. It almost feels like a Game & Watch game. Yeah, hit me. That's right. You guys getting, like, Game & Watch vibes over here? Yeah, let's go. Oh, so you don't have to beat up every enemy. You can just find the enemy that has the key and get lucky. Forget Mario. Yeah, that's not nice. Whatever, invincibility frame right through you, dude. Whatever, take me. There has to be something at, like, level 10 that says, Hey, do you want to get out of here? And I'll say, yeah, I'm not ready for this yet, but thank you for the... Five minutes to do each of these floors. Pretty cool. I like the concept. It's free experience, I guess. What? What? Oh, okay, that was awesome. <laughs> I'm like, am I missing this key somewhere? Alright, cool, it just drops down. Great. The Pit of a Hundred Trials. A hundred times three minutes on average. Oh, it's that dude, Cheek Squeak. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. And then, didn't, uh, didn't one of you guys say that there is a, uh... A Pit of a Hundred Trials for... Like, both flip side and, and uh, another area that we have not seen yet. I hate this guy. I'll just blow him up. Easy as that. Yo, if you got infinite blow-ups over here, that's gonna be pretty OP when it comes to beating up these fools on the real trial. It's fine, go for it, dude. Get owned. Get owned. I kinda wanna get out of here now, because I think we're just wasting time. I'm getting a little bit of baby experience, but it, it feels like it's... There's no point to it. Fall down. You don't fall down. Okay, great. I'm out here trying to get so much experience, but it's just like 100 points a pop. Will I get it at 100,000? 12? 120,000? Is that what it was? Every little point counts. I like that you can get them relatively quick, but I think the benchmarks are really, really high. All right, here we go. Level 10's coming up right now. Oh, dang, green slime. Green cheek squeak, come here. Yeah, get over here. Fine, fine, Goomba. Dried Shroom. Hey, there we go. Mm, one HP. Yeah, dude. That's so great. That's really awesome. Dried Shroom, one HP. Oh, dang. Yo, I got poisoned by what, though? Hurry. Hurry. There we go. Wow, I don't even remember getting hit by one of his little clouds. Okay, here's floor 10. 
There we go. No, ouch, what? Pipe out of pit, yeah, and then we get a little something something right here. And it's a dumb catch card. And it's Tippy's card, who cares? You! Oh, he's probably gonna sell things for like, highway robbery prices. Yeah, look at this fool. Mystery box, a catch card for 20? Wait, 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 he's, wait, how much? How much is retail value, MSRP for uh, for catch cards? That's cool, like, if you're out here and you're like, trying to get like 100% of, oh my gosh, no, 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 that's not the way out, is it? Mmm! Okay, I don't want to do another 10. Sorry. I guess I'm going to have to. Okay, I'm gonna do another 10. Didn't mean to. <laughs> I was trying to get out of here. Ugh, lame. So, like, I get it. Like, if you are one of the players that wants to play this game to completion, you just stock up on a whole bunch of catch cards and you play Pokemon. In a Mario game, which is interesting. Not knocking it, but it sounds, uh, sounds very... Okay, can you guys stop? Alright, here, get blown up. I wanted to combo you guys, but you guys are too foolish. Let's do this quick. Ew, ew, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spiky boys. Oh, oh, how, oh, dudes? Spiky boys. I don't have something called a, um, a sh spike shield badge? I don't know if that exists in this game. We'll find out. Oh, yo, Dodongos, let's go. Cleft. Oh! Okay, so Cleft is two jumps and then they do, then they lose. Some good points, alright? It's like 300. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so now we're milking a little bit, because I need these points. And these coins, right? You can't- there's nothing wrong with going out here and getting a little bit more experience, right? I don't need it. Oh, this guy flips. That's right. That's kind of cool. He's like a little flippy- Oh my gosh, cake mix? Yo, cake mix, though. Cake mix, guys. Not what I wanted. Okay, let's kick these fools. Ouch, dude, you bit me! Cake mix, though. Dude, I pressed up! I have the biggest thumbs! <laughs> I'm already at half health, man. I'm already... Hey, look at these kids! Hey, buddies! Whoa! Yo, are these the Amazing Daisy knockoffs? Or crazy daisies, they just kind of hop, skip around. They kind of remind me of that attack pattern. Oh, two damage up a hit, you're crazy. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I only have 10 HP left, so I, I I think that this little taste right here is telling me I gotta be a little bit more careful. These kind of look like fuzzies. Two hits, two jumps on them, and they're done. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Big combos, big combos. Oh! Fine. Oh! I hate to do that. Like, I don't want to win by blowing stuff up. But I feel like that's the only thing that I have to do here. 
Okay, last dude. Last dude. One, two, done. Give me the key. What floor am I on? I gotta get out of here, man. Although, I'm almost at level up, if you think about that. I'm almost at 11. Didn't touch me. <laughs> where'd, where'd Turtle go? Turtle just disintegrated. Interesting. Only 100 points. Come on, come on. Great! That's absolutely awesome. I love that. I absolutely do. Here you go. Big hit. Nice to know ya. Somehow the key appeared right in front of the door. Weird. Oh, nice little buzzy beetles. Can I bump? I can jump on them. I don't think I could blow them up, though. Maybe. Maybe they're impervious. I don't know. Nothing's impervious. Hey, a baby egg! Oh, restores 12 HP and cures poison? Wow, look at that. Get rid of sleepy sheep. Oh! Can you just please get away from me? <laughs> Boomer's too OP, man. Boomer's way too OP. Dude! I'm trying to get combos here. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking and nothing's coming out. <laughs> I love this game. So flawless. So flawless. Oh dang, yo, Spiky Tom's here. I don't know what I'm gonna do against Spiky Tom. Where's Spiky Tom? Yo, help me! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Help me! Two damage on Spiky Tom. Hold on. Oh! Oh, what in the actual world happened? Spiky Flippin' Tom is not supposed to go down. Help! Oh, help me! Mommy! How much HP did this fool have? You done yet? He's so not done yet. That's fine. Good. Enjoy these, guy. And your friend. Spiky Flippin' Tom, get over here! Turn around. You know what? I need to be Peach. Peach is way better against Spiky Tom. That's right, you don't... You like Peach. How much HP do you have? Ew! Oh my gosh, yo, Spiky Tom? I didn't even have to beat him. I honestly didn't. I just had to get the key and get the heck out of Dodge. Luckily, someone dropped me a big egg. Dude, there has to be a better way of beating up Spiky Tom other than 20 bomb hits. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I'm done. The show must go on. It's a stupid card. Great. Thoreau card. What does he do now? Is Thoreau powered up? Does his, uh, does his throw actually go a lot farther? Can he pick up heavier things? No, it's just a stupid card that I don't, <laughs> I don't care about a card. All right, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go, let's go. We got some things we gotta do, right? The show's gotta move on, man. Let's go. So we found out where the Pit of 100 Trials is. It's fun. I can't wait to do it. I think it's gonna be a really, really fun time. I just think these rewards are pitiful. See what I did there? Pit of 100 Trial? Pitiful? Oh, so genius. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> I know, I know. I'm so, so good at that. All right, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, so I now have located the Pit of 100 Trials. That's great. Love it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I love this game. 
Here we go. Boo! Boo! Wait, hold on, hold on. What happens if I jump in here? That's death, but the other one's a leap of faith? Come on, man. We gotta get out of here. I have not even started the chapter. We're already an hour in. <laughs> We're already an hour in. And I'm still trying to locate this stupid heart pillar. Uh, Yumi-chan, hey, thanks. It's good to see you. It's so good to see you. What's going on? Thank you for the super chat. I need to go sleep in a bed or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember we came across these pillars before. I don't have a hammer or I don't have a, a jump or something. We have mysterious pillars that have arrows that say up and down on them. I can't go tippy, I can't go thin, I can't go thorough. I need maybe like a ground pound or something. This is kind of a little ever so frustrating. But hey, at least I'm finding cool stuff, right? That's all that matters. I need to go sleep in a bed. How many coins? In coupons? What do we got here? Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. May I take a nap? Five coins? Yeah, sure. We got at least 50 coins from that 120 run of the 100 trials. Oh, yeah, I guess what I could have done is I could have been, uh, I could have been utilizing Slim in order to disappear and then allowing Spiky Tom to walk past me and then continue to proceed to destroy him from behind. It was good. But, like, right now, like, what are we doing? Let's go. Let's find out where we have to go. <clears throat> Even further down. And then now I'm going to continue to like go on the outskirts of the town to see if there's like another area that we can go to. So we found the pit. Exciting. Absolutely exciting. Here's first floor. Are there no other outskirts? Grandma's house. No. Painter's house. <clears throat> One second, guys. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Wow. Okay, uh, need to find the spot. Like, I'm kind of at a loss now that I just need to do this. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't have anything for me. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, let's get out of here. That rift I have to learn about. Here's the card dude. I'm probably gonna end up selling all those cards. Like, what's the point? Oh yeah, I gotta go this way. Kid, get out of here. Kid says he's trying to catch everything.
I just don't think that we've explored this. Did we not do this? Am I supposed to be going upstairs already because we found the heart pillar? What am I doing? I'm not even paying attention. Okay, let's go upstairs. I think we we found the heart pillar? I didn't go all the way back upstairs yet. Did I do this part? You guys let me know in the comments. Who's paying attention? I don't know. I'm just kind of all over the place here. Okay. Yes, what's up? What do you mean? Oh, you have to press the L and R buttons. Yeah, these guys. How does it go on the TV? How does what go on the TV? It showing up on the TV. Um, I don't know. What stopped showing up on the TV? You switched this picture is not on the TV. Unplug the little thing on the bottom of the switch. And then plug it back in. Uh, unplug it from the wall. I'll go help you out in a second. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good now. I think we're ready. So we can start the chapter after an hour in. <laughs> thank goodness, thank you. Get me out of here, man. Mario and his new friends open the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about finding the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? Meanwhile, the creeping void grew larger than the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested in the heroes finding the next pure heart. Chapter 3, thank you. I mean, we didn't an hour of like exploring around Flipside. So, I don't think it was a waste of time. Like, we now know all these little different areas where I have to go and um, find out where to go. Little rifts, we found like a little small house, we found, um, oh, we did find the block wall that was unjumpable. We found the Pit of 100 Trials. Still kind of cool. Alright, so let's do this chapter. It's very linear, at least it should be, and uh, let's go from there. So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. That's odd. I can feel it nearby, but where could it be? I don't know. Well, Ack. Nur her her. Oh my gosh. A chameleon. I remember him. He was a nerd, right? He reminded me of the comic book guy in The Simpsons when I played this game a long time ago. High technical. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at digibutter.nur are going to reek, are going to freak when they get word of this find. Can you guys click on digibutter.nur and tell me what happens when you click on that? Like type it into your browser right now? I must bring it home. I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicles. Uh, no way I'm going to entrust my digital recordo meow to tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. Did that thing just take Tippy? Well good, I don't need her. Whoa, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. Oh, sorry. Did I take my allergy meds today? No. <laughs> the shocking scene occurred right before my very tender eyes. Well, I guess that's a wrap for a pixel. Uh, now that f that freak Francis has got her. Oh well. Whoa! It's the sun! Uh, who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed? Well, that's a pity. Uh, that geek that grabbed her, Francis, basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies, and well, all things nerdy too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there is no getting it back. He collects stuff and keeps it in his, uh, big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Whoa now, you wanna know where Fort Francis is? Well, if you go all the way down, Ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek, it's, but it's dangerous. Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. 
Listen, let me give you some travel tips. You listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in the castle up ahead. It ain't gonna be easy getting past them, but here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. But if you toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. And here's the last tip. Once you swim your way through that ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. Look for the red wind and do something with it. Get all that? Good. You be careful now. If some by crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me how you did it. You coward! Yeah, you would hide behind there. You're the worst. One, two, hey, one coin, sweet! Oh yeah, dude, one coin? Heck yeah! Okay, here we go. Yoing! I take it I was supposed to follow that to get more points? Oh no, good, good, good. That's fine. A save block! Yeah, and a pipe that does not lead downward. Oh, but a ladder to the skies! Oh, dang! Why? Secret area? I didn't explore that full air that area fully. Hey, there's a card over there, a totally card that's worth oh gosh. I think this gimmick is cool. But I think it's a big waste of experience. Because everything you hit gives default points. Do I go to the left or to the right? I'm gonna go to the to the right, man. Let's go. Great. Everything's just default pointage. Oh, except for him, I left one alive. Lame. Super lame. Like, I don't even want to collect the stars. You know what I mean? Like, why even do it? If you're just gonna get a lame amount of coins. I mean, a lame amount of points. Like, I would have gone in there like a gauntlet and just destroyed everyone. And gotten three times as many points. That was me testing out a leap of faith. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know how to platform. All right, here we go. Patience. I have to get that card. <laughs> get down. That's right. Was oh, that what I had to do? Good. Did I only have one shot at that? Weird. I'm gonna sell this card so fast. Oh, it's just a regular old cap capture card? Cap catch card? Dang. I guess that's kinda cool. So who should we use it on, guys? Can you use capture catch card SPs on bosses? I just, I don't feel I need help with double damage against enemies, yet. I'm sure that once the Pit of 100 Trials comes out, um, I will say otherwise. <laughs> just wave as she floats on down. Turtle. May I help you? Oh! Mm. 
What? Oh, n wow, that's actually cool. It works both ways. So I, I guess I gotta go play Run Away from this thing. <laughs> Run! That's actually cute. Yo, you wanna fight? Who's gonna win? Big Girl Peach? I'm gonna go get him. I just gotta somehow... Mmm, yeah, got him! Did I get any points for that, though? Yeah, I got some points. That was it? It's just 1v1 me? And now I got sparkles? Dude, I always have sparkles? Kinda cool. Uh-huh. Do I not get points for jumping on one? Oh, I take it I was supposed to go this way and destroy all these blocks and then get all these little dudes. I see. I see now. That guy's stuck on there. I can't really... I can do this, though. Fall in between the red pipes. See, that's a puzzle that I can solve. Thank you. I love reading things backwards and mispronouncing things on purpose. Fall in between the red pipes? I don't remember ever seeing any red pipes. Maybe we'll see some in the future. Let's get out of here. That was kind of cool. So we went in this door in order to grow gigantic. Ah. Come on, dude. I don't care about him. To grow gigantic, do a 1v1 with the Koopas, and... Get down. Thank you. Give me that 100 points. And learn about falling in between red pipes. Cool. Oh, there's a red pipe there. Oh, I guess I could fall in between it. Not if I can pick that up for money. Ooh, look who's here. Kamek, Magikoopa. Dink. Oh, dang, three damage? That's mean. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are these, uh, what are these, uh, colored blocks? Eight of them, yeah? Please trick! Why are you not tricking? Oh my gosh! Hit me! I love this flipping game. Oh my lord. Ugh. What is this stinky? Ew! You've been flipped out, you're going back to flip side. What? Hello? <sighs> oh my goodness. So don't touch those turds. I might as well just capture card SP that dude. Have I mentioned how much I love this game?
Oh, interesting. Whoa, they look like people. That's actually cool. Ew, this one's a little... <laughs> look at the shape of this one. <laughs> uh, uh, look at the shape of that one. Wow, that's good job. Way to go, devs. Way to go, devs. Good job. Thank you, 200 extra points. Did you see the color, the purple one's shape is really good. It's like a very, very, very awesome shape. Mario can't jump that high, okay. Hey, blue dude. And a treasure. Oh, lightning striketh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna eat one really quick. I should sell this trash. You brought in a baby mini game. Look at that. It's like it's from, um, it's like it's from the original Paper Mario, all right? You gotta keep some things. Can you guys just come down, please? Dude, what though? What actually though? Beat me up. End me right here. End me. There's one all the way the heck up there. He's not coming down. I may have to use Thoreau. I can't use Thoreau in the air. Great. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to use that stupid lightning strike. Whatever. Multiply into many different babies, and then I'm just gonna destroy you all. This is what I feel about this game! <laughs> Let me guess, you missed one on top over there. Let me get- oh good, I was gonna say. Feel like strangling this game sometimes it's like the inputs are not working I'm like let's go let's shake let's do all this stuff no nothing <laughs> this game is so good this game is truly so good look I'm pressing the a button on the side of the um, on the side of these jumps and peach isn't jumping So she just kind of falls. It's like a little slippery. I don't know. I'm not trying to go over here. I'm sorry. Wrong area. Totally not trying to go over here. This is actually funny, though. I, I find this very entertaining. Look at this little dump. Like, what is that? Yo, dev team completely ran out of ideas. Oh no, touch me! Something about hitting all the eight blocks, right? One, two, three, four. Oh gosh. Please explain to me. Explain to me. <laughs> right, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Okay, so this is not the little puzzle that we were talking about earlier. I'm out. Oh, look at this! 1-2! I love it! 1-2 reference. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, you're totally appealing to me, man. And, uh, little children. No, I don't need them, sorry. Okay. I'll let them live. I would much rather combo on my own. With the ability to shake this dumb thing. Oh, please tell me, please tell me the secrets are in this. As in, I'm gonna have to run? No, come on, you had one job. Dang, you had one job to replicate 1-2. There's something here. There we go. Oh gosh, hey, that's cheating.
You had one job to give me a full recreation of 1-2. Oh, okay, okay. A little drop down spot. <laughs> Am I just gonna skip everything now? Where's Minus World? Can we go to Minus World? Hey, I want that experience. Help me! <laughs> This is actually hilarious. I can only imagine what it's like for you guys on the opposite end over here. Like, watching this man... Watching this man attempt to shake these the Wiimotes in order to... Get some sort of trigger into it. What's in these pipes? <sighs> why would I go- why would I jump down here? No thanks. I know, I've got the smallest, the world's smallest thumbs in the world right now. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so that's a save. I'm gonna go inside the third one, just because my curiosity is um, never ever satisfied. Oh, come on! Come on, Peach! It's not a one-way pipe! Lame. Hey, guys! Oh my gosh, hold on! What? Who are these punks? Soccer kids? Inazuma 11? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Who the heck are you guys? Get blown up, kids! Who the heck were those? Should have captured them. Oh gosh, you know what? I'm gonna use it. Was that it? Oh, you have HP. Get him, boys! Gimme that! Koopa Striker! Whoa! Oh, so cool. Is this the third pipe? No, this is the regular pipe. Oh, that's cool. So now I can go try the third pipe now. Yo, Inazuma 11 right here! That was kind of cool. You know what? Finally, it took- I'm sorry, it took three chapters to give us a, an actual cool, unique, recolored design of a character. Of a Mario character. Wow, it took three chapters for them to do that. Interesting. Whereas every other character design is just a bunch of lines and uh, squares and stuff like that. So, yeah, kind of lame. Oh, sweet, baby! Give me that. It's a Magikoopa card. Hey, that's kind of cool. Well, good thing I went back. Good thing I backtracked. Looks like Koops' dad recolored. It does kind of look like that Novi Prime. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I can see that with the eyebrows and everything like that. It's a cool, it's a cool design. It's a unique character. They're all here now. He just thinks that uh, you can just drop them like this. Where's it going? Oh my gosh! Whoa, whoa, hey, that went right through me. Yeah, you, this is Bowser's castle, and his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. You're about to get a complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. Come on out, fellas! Yeah! Come and get some! Gladly. Okay. Um, let me just kind of stand right here and destroy you! A leaf! A Koopa leaf! Turtley leaf. Yeah, I remembered this item. I knew it had something to do with the Koopas. A burly leaf that reduces all damage by half. Bullet bills, though? Hold on. This is great. Like, I love this. This is great design. Because it's exactly like a... Great. That's stunk. Okay, bullet bill lesser. Can't probably... Oh, I can! You knock me out of the sky, though, you punk! Help me!
No, oh, couldn't do it. Oh, dang it. Wait. Please, please just trick. Just trick! <laughs> this is the worst. This is actually the worst battle system. You, There is no one in the world that enjoys doing these stupid stylish tricks. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna call it right now. No one who has played this game actually enjoyed doing this and it not registering. No one. What's up, Bowser? Please tell me someone didn't just blow my awesome lair. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere. Mario and Princess Peach? Why do you always have to do that? That's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up. Borg. Oh, dang. 1v1? And Peach is out of here. But now you've entered a fortress of pain, Mario. No more sequels. It's going to end right here, right now, once and for all. Oh my gosh, Tippy! Wait, I don't have Tippy! <laughs> I don't have Tippy! Alright, what do I do? I can just go like this. I can't go like this. But I can go behind Bowser if I need to. Hey, 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 that's cheap. Yoink! Oh my gosh, hello? Jump on me. Oh, help me. Oh, so help me. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. An actual hard Bowser fight. No, I hate Mario. It's not fair. Mario. Remember Tippy got kidnapped? I wanted to analyze him like Goombario and Tattle. <laughs> but it didn't work. Are you okay? Ah, Princess Peach. My lovely wife. Your wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? That sham was not a wedding. What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle. When all of a sudden, bam, me and the minions wake up face down in this field. Then we found this awesome castle and I thought, why not make myself a lair? Well, you see, Bowser... We really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Black got us married just to make a chaos heart so that he could destroy the world? Yes, and that's why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No, I don't wanna. I'd think about it if I was, uh, if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But, but I'm Bowser. I'm a grade A, 100% prime cut final boss. I'm going to take over the world any day now. No way I'm helping Mario. He's always trashing my awesome plans. Please, for me? No, I don't want to. What'd you say? If the world ends, there's not going to be any world for me to rule? And what will happen to your poor minions who are caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed. They now do his evil bidding, not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to toil under different cruel and merciless master. But, uh, but... Why, you... Murph! Fine, I'll join your stupid quest. You happy? Oh, thank you, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet, and I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule someday, so don't get all cuddly with me, Mario. All right, Bowser, you big sweetie. <clears throat> Playable Bowser, cool. When controlling Bowser, press down uh, to breathe fire on your enemies. His breath is ferocious, so use it to drop any, any enemy that stands in your way. Yo, I could destroy Spiky Tom. Lord Bowser! Your crabbiness, are you leaving us? What? Oh yeah, minions, hold down the fort until I return. Your lair is safe with us, sir. Oh, sir, it seems like Count Black has brainwashed some of your loyal hench people. Uh, they're probably going to be forced to attack you, so feel free to dole out punishment. Of course, we'd love to come along and defend you, but... You know, we just uh, get in the way, your heinousness. Clobber that count for us. 
Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging is begging for a beating. Long live King Bowser. We'll miss you, your surliness. Party! Oh, you guys. Fine, come on. Let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. I said move it. <clears throat> Super Bowser! Oh, dude, look at this fire breath. Yeah, dude, look! And he goes just as fast as Mario. He shuffles his little baby legs. It's kind of cool. And that's the end. No, it's not. Anything else? Do we miss anything? Just double checking. I want to be rewarded for exploration, but I do not get rewarded for exploration this time around. That's fine. All right, we'll be Bowser. That's kind of cool. So you play old Bowser, he jumps just as high, and he's just as fast. I could have sworn he was jumping way higher than Mario. When we battled him, he was jumping way higher than Mario and intercepted me every mid-jump. I was totally expecting to jump on his head, like, I don't know, the previous two Paper Mario games? <laughs> but no! Absolutely not. You cannot, one does not simply jump on Bowser's head in this game. With Bowser in the party, the three heroes made, like, uh, a most unlikely trio. Uh, yeah, say that to Super Mario RPG and the Super Nintendo before this game came out. Unlikely trio. Peach attempted to explain the quest to Bowser, but it made him a grunt. Made him grunt in confusion. As Mario walked ahead, he spotted something that made him briefly stop and stare. What is it, Mario? asked Peach as she, as she turned to see the blue expanse ahead. The great glittering waves of the tile pool stretch as far as she can see, for Fort Francis was somewhere across the water. Okay. Cool, let's see what Bowser can do. Bloops ahoy. Oh, nice! Okay, this is actually fun. We we did a little Bowser swimming minigame in, um, in Thousand Year Door, didn't we? And fire underwater is actually like the best power up. Remember that in the first Mario game? If you had fireballs underwater, those like 45 degree angle shots. Yo, I could use that. Okay, get that cheap cheap out of here though. Hey, no, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go. I like how Bowser's arm rotates a full 360. Whoa, like it's not even... Oh, I'm gonna get rocked. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can go flip side underwater, that's right! Yeah, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, forget Bowser under the water, man. It's all about Mario. Just backtracking, just backtracking. Okay, so there are some things that you can do in the water with flip side. That's right, you can breathe infinitely underwater. So good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is this? Oh, it's just raining coins. This is raining coins, yes. Oh, that one's so fast. Dip! Why did that one go so fast? Anything else? No? Okay, cool. Oh, we can take a shortcut right through that. We don't have to worry about the, <laughs> the thing right there. That's cool. Let's see how fast this turn this current is. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we can hang out. Yep, right underneath me with the pointy- Whoa, what is that? Ink pasta. Yeah, yeah, HP and cures poison. Let's hear that. Actually, I could use that. Inky sauce. Mmm. Inky sauce. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, is there anything else I gotta do over here? Bowser is so big. Inky Sauce again. I'll eat another one. Oh my gosh, in a Volt Shroom? What?
I gotta get rid of some of this stuff, or at least sell it. Like, I don't, I don't need things. It's just slowing me down. Oh, look at these. Can Bowser ground pound? Hold on, hold on. What are these? Okay, why do I care about that? There's a pipe there. There's a save block there. Oh, there's something over here. Why do I care about these? Hmm. Peculiar. Very peculiar little things. Maybe Bowser does a ground pound. I don't know. I would I would expect him to. He's so big. Okay, coins up ahead to bypass that. There's some enemies that I probably missed. Doesn't matter. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. One HP. Boom. Anything else? Oh my gosh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, they weren't kidding about a big blooper, huh? here to tickle ya. That's scary. It's borderline scary. What's this do? Is it annoying? Oh, there's another tickler. Yo! Hit me. Thank you. Thank you. Please push me that way. Yo, you want some? Come here. That's right. There's a drawing of posts on the Okay, okay, okay. From left to right. Up, down, down. I'm sorry. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, up, down, down, up, down, up. So the pillars had some sort of use to them. Interesting. We'll have to go back to them. I'm like, what are these pillars here for? Okay, obviously it's for something, but I don't know how to manipulate them yet, so let's find out. Get up there. Up, down, down. Okay, there's obviously something I'm missing here. Something obvious that I, I, I need to do to manipulate these things. I think I'm just missing like a pixel. Like there's one of these special pixels that's like, allows me to ground pound things. And then I just like over, maybe it was like an oversight in one of the previous areas. I could have sworn I was like doing really well with exploring every single spot though. Whoa, 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 what's that, what's that, what's that? That's a leap of faith, no. Interesting. I'm just like dying now? Okay, hold on, that doesn't work for me. Let's keep looking. There's something here. There's no going back. I will find it. 
It may take me a little bit, but I will find it. And the only exploration that I have is with Bowser and Mario. Can't be beating up every cheap cheap. That's not gonna trigger anything. Nothing up here. Maybe it was. Maybe it was something along like beating up all the enemies. I don't know. We did leave that one blooper alive. Remember he was clipping through like the, the ceiling? When he shouldn't have been? see something up there okay 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 that's what we didn't uh so there's oh what the really i just didn't do this all right cool <laughs> maybe i was too like enamored at the tentacle whatever all right easy now oh goombob man let's go oh yo yo bowser time to get these minions although how do we know that these minions How do we know that these minions are bad ones? Right, Bowser's just over here just ending uh, little Goomba's lives. It's rude. Oh, dang, you guys are following me, huh? That's cool. <laughs> Burn! Oh my gosh, you gotta be like a little bit higher than those guys. And these fish! I love fighting underwater with Bowser. It's so good. It's so good. You just gotta dip down. Yo, Inky Pasta. It's an apology. Thank you. I will eat it soon! Let me get it! Let me get it! No! My pasta! My sample of my pasta. <laughs> hmm. Okay, here we are, ladies and gents. Shweem, shweem. Hey, in case you ain't heard, I throw a lot of girth around these parts. You said that. I'm gonna check you out to make sure you got the weight to hang with me. All right, let's start by checking that face of yours. Dude has shaggy eyebrows. That's not even kind of girthy. You get 50 girth points. Oh my gosh, why are we talking like this? Is this supposed to be what that supposed? Oh my gosh, anyway. All right, I gotta check the girthiness of those clothes of yours. What's more girthy than a giant spiky shell? That's worth a hundred girth points. Girth check on the body coming up. That's where the real heavy comes from. Look at this guy. Look, in, look him up in the dictionary and he's the definition of girth. <laughs> oh, super heavyweight right here. Bam! 10,000 girth points! Whoa! The sheer girthitude on my display here is blowing my mind. There's no getting around it. You've got heavy, like I've never seen before. Any fool that gets in your way, you just have to girth him up. Well, I love it, smash and squish those lightweights. You're going places with that girth like that, and I want to come along for the ride! <laughs> Why? Did they know what they were doing? Localization team, come on now. 
The ground pounding pixel named Thudley joined you. Now you can unleash a powerful attack on anything right below you when you jump. You can even use a ground pound on enemies underwater. With our girths combined, nobody can stop us. But you gotta get out of this room first. Put my heavyweight power to work. I got a laugh out of it, but now that I'm thinking about that, that's, um... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. I That has to be a 100% intentional by the localization team. You go look up the Japanese uh, text boxes on that, and I will 100% doubt that there's anything like that. That is all the NOA treehouse localization team for that. Wow. Wow. Remind me again how old this game is. Thirteen? This game is thirteen years old. That did not age well. Nice! Yo, multi-bounce right here. Mario multi-bounce. Let's go. It's like a super jump in, um, in regular Paper Mario. What is this ugly thing? You know what, why am I even bouncing? I could just be Bowser and get away from close quarters combat and just burn these fools. Whoa, a sunken ship. A little pixelated right on the back there. Get bit. What? What do you... Oh. <laughs> what are these, fake? And <laughs> these are fake little dudes that don't get injured? Baloop, what's going on? There he is, there he is! Okay, yo, he's got a red one. I wonder why he has a red one out of the sea of blue ones. And a yellow one, too. Oh, dang. Whoa, that's the biggest blooper we've ever seen in the history of Paper Mario games. Hey, land freaks. How'd you like a tentacle sandwich? How'd I like a tentacle sandwich? Like, I'm going to roast you? Oh my gosh. Okay, obviously dodging that. Where's your next tentacle attack coming from? Okay, there's a blue one there. Okay, I didn't see that one rising up. That was cheap. In the middle. Okay, deal. Dude, that didn't touch me, for starters. Oh, and you're not allowing me to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Tippy! I need the tip! So it's nothing but blue ones that are rising up. Maybe I have to wait till the red one rises up and then attack that one. Yeah! Bloop, bloop. No, not there, please, anywhere but there. That actually hurt though.
Loop. Please don't tell me that was the chapter boss. Please don't tell me we're done with this chapter now. That better be like a mid-boss. Which chapter? Is this the end of the sub-chapter or the full chapter? Uh, it's the- okay, good, good, good. It was- it's, it's probably just going to be the sub-chapter. If that was the end chapter boss, I would have been so upset. Somehow the heroes had had beached the big blooper and crossed the tile pool. But before they could dry, they saw the imposing silhouette of Fort Francis. Remember, we don't have Tippy back. It's sure getting dark, Peach said in a quiet voice. But when they looked up, they realized they were in the shadow of a huge tree. Mario, knowing his gut, knowing in his gut this must be the way, set out toward the great tree. Remember, yeah, there was... And then the little sun pixie, the sun pixel dude, also mentioned something about having three trials. X marks the spot, something like red wind. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get out of here, man. Yo, a great tree. Let's go, great tree. That boss battle was... I don't know, rate that boss battle out of 10. What did you guys think of it? I thought it was cool. But like, I wish it was like, harder? I don't know. That's just me. Okay. Cool. You did! No! This is the good one! I need to get up there and get Cheek Squeak! Didn't touch me! Didn't touch me again. Come on, just go. Just go. I need these points. Nothing. Absolutely worthless. Completely worthless. Wow. So bad, man. So bad. You get this awesome, like, power-up. And nothing becomes of it. No, oh, great. And what the heck is this? Why are you giving me this right here? I quit, dude. I quit. <laughs> I quit! It's so so bad, so bad. It's like whenever you get those little flowers, like you have to go out there and you gotta fish for those experience points. Like you have to have like a whole bunch of enemies ready for you. But like that was uh, that was nonsense. I just picked it up and it was like, okay, well, I don't even know where to go for starters. Aside from here and here. M excuse me. What in the actual heck was that? Yeah, hit me, guy, hit me. Hit me, guy. That guy's got a million HP! This feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Can you please just trick? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm asking you to trick at the peak of your jump. Is that hard? Why can't I press this back button B for trick, huh? What does this button do? Why is this not programmed? Why is this not programmed? Where are you? What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking 14 years ago? Allow me to bypass stupid motion controls and map it to the B button. <laughs> You did it for Mario Kart Wii! Oh my gosh, you did it for Mario Kart Wii, didn't you? Remember? Because you can trick with, um... I need that. Okay, goodbye. I don't need it now. You did that with Mario Kart Wii. You can go like this to trick. Or you can press the B button. To bypass motion controls. 
because they know a little something about how players are. <laughs> and Mario Kart, what? Okay, so what came first? I'm sorry. Uh, let me not assume. Did Mario Kart Wii come first? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it, dude. I'm gonna actually lose it. Which came out first, Mario Kart Wii or this game? Um, actually is only in the comments right now. Love this game, man. Best mo pa best Paper Mario game, man. Yo, Sticker Star, I can't wait to play you. Dried Bark. <clears throat> okay, so Super Paper Mario came out first, got it. And then they probably got the feedback from fans saying, hey, I hate motion controls. Can you please not force them upon us? And then in Mario Kart Wii, they gave the option of using motion controls or using a button press. Okay, thanks for confirming that. <laughs> I was I was incorrect in my assumption saying, hey, Mario Kart Wii did it! <laughs> oh man, what is this tree? That's kind of cool. There's something more than meets the eye here. Covered in tree bark. Oh, tree bark. Yeah, yeah, Bowser's breath to blow the fire on it. Okay, I got you. And then watch me slip off a little bit. Yep. I was going to say, if my logic didn't work there, <laughs> I'm getting pretty upset. I'm like, what do you mean? It's logic. You got a new Bowser friend, and now he can burn stuff, so, like, let's go. Anytime now. Hmm! I never bothered with stylish moves that often um, in Super Mario because motion controls are stupid. Oh, you're speaking my language now, but I cannot, one does not simply pass up the free amount of experience, right? You can't simply pass that up, especially if it's in a huge combo. Well, see, they kept that. They kept those sound effects from Paper Mario. Oh, there's a lot of daisies here. Oh, now this is gonna be fun. I cannot wait. So they save here. They give you a save block here because they're like, hey, in case you mess up the controls and you don't do this all-in-one combo, turn off the game and restart it. Wait, what? Wait, green and pink. Hold on, hold on. I thought I was just gonna float on down and destroy everything. Green and pink? Oh, dang, look who's here. do 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 Hunger! Ooh, yeah, yeah! That's a three-hit combo, baby! And drink! Daisy's tear. A sad, sad liquid that restores 3 HP. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Like, I don't- I'm never gonna use this. Get out of here. I'm gonna drink the Daisy's Tears. That's right, mmm. Alright, so what's this? Alright, we're gonna find out what pink and green does soon. Maybe allow us to climb. Oh, it's the platforms. The oh, I see, I see, I see. I'm picking up which one now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Don't touch me. And done, because you spin around in the circle too much.
That though, that kind of bothers me. If you jump with Princess Peach and you hit your head on the top of a block somewhere, you don't pull out your parasol. Ooh. It's fine, check this out. Oh no, no, I let the green ones live! I could be having such big combos right now! Bling. Watch, I'm going down, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you! Big level up, one does not simply... Did I trick there? Okay, watch this. Get him! Whoa, dang it, didn't see him. <laughs> there we go, see? See, it's not that hard. I have to really just go at it. It's like a workout, man. Like that blue one over there, I want to wait for him, but I don't want to wait for him at the same time. <clears throat> I was ready to eat all those guys in a gigantic combo, but it didn't happen. So are Amazy Daisies in this game then? If the regular Crazy Daisies are here. Oh, a ladder. So now I don't have to go all the way back up. That's cool, quality of life, I'll take it. You quiet. Hit me, combo breaker. Oh, I'm going for that. Oh, you fell asleep. Oh, I said I was going for that green one. I was gonna like zip all the way over and down. No way. Blue one, wait, 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 blue. That's my boy blue. Oh, I hit my head on the ceiling, that's why. I thought my parasol was gonna come out. I was gonna squeeze right in between them and get like three hops. It's fine, it's fine. I hit my head! Stop pinning your head! <laughs> ah, wee! Do 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 do. There we go, beautiful. Stop. Oh, look who's coming. It's your boy Green here. You see this? <laughs> it's like I'm in midair. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. And then I go, look, look. You see me doing this right here? And this is your favorite game. And this is your favorite Paper Mario game. Okay. Cool, cool. Unpopular opinions, man. <laughs> you see this, he says. Uh, there's something I'm missing here. <laughs> to validate, to validate myself, I go through the comment section of this video right here. And I look at you guys and I say, you see this. You see me doing this. Maybe I gotta go in a circle, dude. You see this. Just to make sure I'm not going insane playing this game. Don't touch me. Come on, Vivian. Why are you gonna start me all the way back here? That didn't, mmm! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Operator error. It's not the game, it's me.
Got a little impatient. Just a little bit. I'm the most patient gamer you guys know, though. I have the patience of a saint when it comes to video games, so don't even... Don't even try. Come here. <sighs> you! Yo, sleep me again. See what happens. How am I gonna get that? Oh, we're gonna drop Bommy. Yo, I'm gonna drink your tears, dude. I'm gonna drink your tears right in front of your dead corpse. Come here. You think I wanted to jump in the spikes? Nah. Oops, I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong dude. Hmm. Bomb the switch again. <laughs> what? That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. I wasn't thinking about that, because it's on a timer. Smart! <laughs> actually, very smart. I mean, give me a couple seconds, I would have figured that out, but like... Alright, cool, thanks. Thanks, devs! Oh, big boys, big boys. Let's see if Peach can do work. I'm sorry, did I? I, I just can't. Oh, hold on. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Help me! Okay, forget it. I don't care about comboing. Let's just burn these kids. Okay, that doesn't work. I'm out here thinking we can play Paper Mario the first two games and you can jump on top of the Chain Chomps for multiple points. No, but of course, this isn't Paper Mario anymore. No, no, no. We have dropped all inhibitions on uh, that being Paper Mario. You need to super jump on these fools. A Peach 2 card. Maybe two Peach cards? <clears throat> oh, I love this game. This game is actually good. If this game can get me to... to be a little... I'd so frustrated at times with it. If a game can get me to get that frustrated, there has to be something good about it, right? Okay, blue boy. Whoa, okay, you just kind of just dropped like that, huh? to me. But Mario Mario can duck. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay, check this out. I don't know if it's the correct answer, but... That's what I've learned from old school playing Mario games, I guess. Um... <laughs> that's that's called that's what we call transferable skills, ladies and gents. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should press it one more time. Hmm. 
Let's see what blue does. <clears throat> How did I do that on my first try? There we go. Puzzly. I gotta figure this out. Maybe dropping down somewhere. Hitting a switch. What does pink allow me over here? Maybe I'll go Mario. Pink will allow me to do something over here. Ah! 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 Wow, 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 wow. That's so cool. Good job, Mario. So cool, dude. So cool. How do I get this? Thoreau? Thudly? Thank you, I knew that. Hmm. Pipe. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Um. So there's a pipe somewhere that will allow me to get over there. Could it be that pipe? I don't remember. I don't think Peach can make that jump. No, she can probably make that jump. I try to jump inside there really quick. I don't remember what was in it. The way to the end of the door is coming out of a yellow pipe somewhere. Oh yeah, this is just the stupid chain chomps. All right, so I don't think there was anything else in the chain chomp room. So there has to be something in that spike crouch jump room, maybe. There's something... is there something down here? Out of my way, dude! I gotta jump! There's nothing else over here. Other than doing this and then getting out the room. I'm missing, there's one piece I'm missing somewhere. Because <clears throat> if blue was on, if blue was on over here, pink allowed me to go this way. I think I'm just like retracing my steps and allowed me to jump into this little area here. I kind of feel like I have to go all the way back to the bottom and maybe there's just something I missed on the bottom. It's kind of what I'm thinking out loud right now. Uh, and that's a pink switch over that way. So yeah, you know what? Let's just go. Maybe I'll find another pipe. There's one pipe. There's a pipe. What was that? What was that? Do I know that pipe? Oh, we do know this pipe. We've been in here. Let me just go in it one more time. I did this part. There wasn't anything over here.
Oh, what is this? Hold on, hold on. We have not done this. Have we? Oh, that's the ladder? And then that's hitting that? We have this pipe. Let's see. Maybe something. Oh, is that it? Well, that's dumb. It's fine. What does pink do? Oh, this was... Okay, anyway. Uh, we're good. Was the door just not there? Ah, finally you arrive. You don't wear a tardiness well. At last, the hero, I know you from the festival of hair that dances on your, upon your lip. I am the humble servant of Count Black. Master of dimensions. Pleaser of crowds, I am Dementio. It's truly enchanting to finally meet my hapless victims. I have prepared a special morsel of a treat for you. How about some magic? And voila, you are now in Dimension D, a dimension of my own creation. This is, in this mind-bending realm, my attacks are 256 times more potent. I am now far more powerful. I could obliterate you with the raise of an eyebrow. Now we must duel like two gleaming banjos on a moonlit stoop. Okay, yeah, no? How about that? Uh, bombs, Bowser, Thudley. Uh, maybe I might need Thudley? Okay, so he can go, he can attack me in 3D. Can you pierce this illusion? I can pierce this illusion. I don't know if I'm supposed to be attacking you yet, though. Uh-huh. So you got two of these dudes. Um... Because they're way too high for me. I don't know if Peach can... Wait a second, you're 256 times stronger and I can just do that to you? Fudge! Did not mean to do that. I think that hitbox is super wonky in this game. Oh dang, that would have been awesome. Your blows are like miniature jackhammers wielded by tiny angry wo road workers. How is this possible? This dimension makes me 256 times more powerful. What? You say this place also makes you more powerful? Uh ha ha. Of course, this is simply an amusement that played out exactly as I planned. Were you amused? That was just an hors d'oeuvre. Hors d'oeuvre! Next time we meet, you will feast on a deadly eight course meal. That better not be the boss. Ciao for now, my mustachioed foe. Mario's thinking, was that really the boss? Hmm, a little more, perhaps. They are strong, but they must be stronger yet to defeat Black. I must make sure they can face him when the time comes around at last. Wait, what? Okay, good. I was gonna say, uh, there, there's more to this. Oh, who is this little turd? Spinies! Yeah, get my points worth. You do not run away from me without paying. Oh, wow, big hit. We got a Lakitu. 
Oh, we got a Lakey too. Lack a dude. I'll catch you, I promise. Yo, keep milking. Let's go. Keep throwing them, dude. I'll eat these all day. Oh! Right on my head. Oh, man. I'll catch you! Does Bowser have spike shield? Where did that one disappear to? Oh, my gosh. What a terrorizer! Oh, it's a twofer! Thanks. I'm right back here. A double twofer! Back to back! Wow, this guy's owning me! A triple twofer! Alright, I'm out, I'm out. Bowser's just too stupid. He's just too big. Wow, this guy's... Sh Yo, this Lakitu was harder, honestly, than the stupid Dementio guy. Not gonna lie. This little measly minion Lakitu out here is trying to do some work! And he did. But I'm out here just trying to milk him, that's all. Like, I just want to milk his experience, but I can care less now. Oh, Ride the Red Wind. Yeah, they did mention something about that. So, a simple minion Lakitu... A minion Lakitu was stronger than d the Dementio boss fight. Just saying. <laughs> I want to keep on going. No, I don't. There we go, beautiful 10 coins, and then is this end of actual chapter, or end of just sub-chapter? There's another chapter after this, huh? Dude, these little sub-bosses, oh my gosh, they're kind of like... Annoying. Mario, Peach, and Bowser had scaled the tree and defeated Dementio. The exhausted heroes were relieved to finally see the ivory towers of Fort Francis. Was Tippy safe? Was the next Pure Heart really waiting for them ahead? Their only answers were the strange voices carried on the wind from the inside of the fort. The Battle of Fort Francis. Oh, we haven't found the chameleon dude yet, right? So let's go find him and see what's up. Okay, here we go. So this is where that dweeb Francis lives. <laughs> What's this castle got over mine? Do you think Tippy's all right? I'm starting to worry. There he is, taking pictures. Wow, you can put him on, uh, put him on the internet. Nerrrrrr. This is so high technical. It's a totally undiscovered digi butterfly species. Nerr, I must document it. Mario. Yes, shake that thorax. The digibutter.nerf forum guys will be so jealous when I post these shots online. Did you guys go to that site and let me know what happened? Anything? Digibutter.nerf? What if there was actually digibutter.com? Don't, don't click it. Please don't. I will not be held liable for what happens if you click on that. Oh, yeah, let's go, Henry David. Better not be a stupid card I don't need. Good. Oh, was that it? That was the puzzle? Cool. Well, we stumbled across the way in really easily. No entry unless you are a super genius like me or a totally hot babe. What was that? There was like a pickup line in the previous episode, wasn't there? I forgot what it was. It was something so ridiculous. It was like hot babe alert or something like that. <laughs> hey, little baby's ice cream. What are you doing here? Are you a, an enemy or a friend? It's a little cat. Do you want to save your game? Yeah, sure. Is this a cat? Hold on. Hold on. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> I actually want to talk to the thing. Let me, let me go back. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Oh, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. You know, I don't want to talk to her. I just want to find the secrets and get out of here. Oh, the blue ones. Uh-oh, watch out. Blue ones seem weird. 
Ah, uh, whoa, look at this. There's a way out right there. Oh, blue ones are evil! Thank you, but I did a twofer on at least two jumps, and that's unacceptable behavior. I don't appreciate that at all. How am I on the spikes? Excuse me? How was I standing on those? For Francis's eyes only, excuse me? Right is 23, 23. Jordans, double Jordans. And we got left is 28, 28. Double my... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Let's go. Hi. Oh, you're the... Hey there. You seem friendly. If so, give me a hand. If not, give, give me a hand anyway. Are you actually kidding me? That's fine, that's fine. I'll hit the switch. But, like... I'm Paper Mario. I should be able to be paper thin in order to go through those bars. Just saying. I'm, I'm okay with hitting the switch. <laughs> what is this? The cross? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know what I was going to do. Thank you, thank you. I've been shut up here and here forever. You'll never catch me in here again. I must repay you. I'm at your service. I'm sure you can find a use for my talent. See, that's unacceptable. Hold on a second. Before we get all friendly, we should see if we're on the same page. You met Francis, right? What do you think of the guy? Your first impression? Uh, he seems pretty awesome, actually. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Anything else about him catch your eye? He's a photo fanatic. Uh, here's, he's irresistible. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, I see how you think that. So to sum it up, what do you think about him? He's a stallion. He's awesome, man. So you think Francis is a awesome, irresistible guy, basically a stallion? Well, imagine that. You and I feel the same way about him. We've got great harmony. Yep, I think we'll work perfectly together and nothing can touch us. <laughs> it's more like WWMD right over here. What would Mario do? <laughs> Carrie, the hovering platform pixel has joined your party. Carrie. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. What's the animation gonna look like when you're riding Carrie? Do you have to carry Carrie on your back? Oh no. Okay, no more jokes. I don't want to offend anyone. With me, you can get places in a hurry. Go ahead, give me a spin. All right, Carrie. Let me. Let me not carry you on my back. Okay, good. We just float on you. <laughs> Man, I am I'm very borderline today. Let's just quit it right now. Oh yeah, Animal Crossing starts in 20 minutes. I'll push that back a little bit. Probably like an hour. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going over here. I cannot believe my life though. What is this game? Who designed this? Who are you? Welcome home, master. Ah, oh, thanks. The young one. Oh, the water cooler. Cute. Oh, wow, there's cats. I love cats, though. Oh, I need keys. Oh, wait, I have codes, don't I? Sweet. The resolution on these images is just breathtaking. Nerd. Nerd alert. High technical. Oh, there you are. I knew you were in there. Okay, so I need some sort of keys in order to get there. Hi, technical. Hi, welcome home, master. I finished removing commercial breaks from your recorded programs. Nice. Welcome home. The new space combat sim, Starship x Not, a little Easter egg. Space Bloops has arrived by mail. Very nice. Do, 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 do. 
X knots. You guys remember the X knots? I've cataloged all the Masters comics and filed them away. Do not think I did it out of the kindness of my robo heart. They were beginning to clog vital fire escape routes from the castle. That's cool. Oh my, you're just firing these dudes out? Can I destroy you? Oh, oh these are good cats, right? Oh gosh, yes, 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 thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa, I'm coming, baby! Okay, that doesn't work. So, here, we're gonna do a one. We're gonna do a two. Three, at the same time. Totally meant to. Yahoo! Oh, I need to get a sixer. May I please have a sixer right now? Fine, I'll hit all three of you at the same time. Fine. I won't get a combo. What is that doing up there? How is a door? Oh, whoa! Hey, hey, you guys are not supposed to be 3D. I love comboing. I love comboing. There we go. All for what, though? Quiet in the hallway, stomping disturbs the- oh, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yo, we gotta just bust out our girth right now. Very nice, very nice. Oh, there, now there's two- there's two doors. I need to find out what's in door number one and door number two. Okay, there's a couple paths that are in 3D right now. Very nice. Don't hit your head on this, Peach. Good. That a girl. Little cat! You know what I think is happening? I keep on shaking, shaking this side, but I'm not shaking this side! Okay, maybe not. Maybe I need to shake the head of the Wiimote instead of the tail of the Wiimote. I need to throw something. Oh, look who's there across the aisle. Swoop or no swooping, dude? Come on! There's still another room that I didn't explore. That second middle room with the hanging door on it? I didn't touch that. Are you good or evil? You have reached the door to Master's private room. For security purposes, you must confirm your identity. Answer the following security questions with either true or false. Video game soundtracks are totally high technical. Yeah, sure. Episode 127 of the Grotus Chronicles is pretty much the sweetest thing ever. Yeah, it's probably true. One day I will own all the Starship x Not Series 3 collectible action figures. Sure. Now you must enter the passcode. Double Jordans, baby. Meow, meow, meow. You are not the master to place it. What are you talking about? Oh! Because that's the right, that's the code for the right room and not the code for the left room. It's fine, I want it to go in the other room anyway. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. May I help you? Why do you, oh, I see, I see. It's like it automatically makes Mario, um... Hello? Okay.
That's fine. That's cool. All right, I know exactly where we have to go. So I'm gonna try the right room, and then I'm gonna do the left room, just to see what they do. What? Oh, this is the front door. I'm sorry. Okay. The front door. We can go here. Go inside this little baby room. Go inside the next baby room, and then just make our way up. We can do left door, right door. So we know the left room is the uh, private quarters. <clears throat> the uh, right room, I don't know yet, but we have two options here. Okay. Is surfing on carry? faster than walking so we are in the right room that's double Jordans got it true or false statement Starship X not comics are never to be removed from their plastic sleeves that's true you should never do that role-playing games should be no less than 180 hours long not counting side quests sure fanny packs are both practical and stylish no please enter the secret passcode double Jordans Welcome home, Master. Master's fantasy fortress is safe from intruders. Gives me a key, right? It has to end up giving me a key so that I go into the giant... What the heck? This Animal Crossing room with all the posters. Wow, look! Look at the... look at this bow! Alright, yeah, pictures of bow. And then, um, what's the kid's name from the, the punies? And there's a GameCube! And there's a Nintendo 64 and a GameCube with the bottom GameCube attachment. It's probably like a Game Boy, whatever. There's a Famicom, a Super Nintendo, a Virtual Boy. Oh, I love this room. Ow, dude, what in the world? Who are you? Oh, I love this room. Remember Punio's sister? I forget her name. And then he's got a big old screen TV over here. What are these? Oh, he's got a Nintendo Wii! And look, the wrist strap! And the Wii game's just kind of set to the side. And Yoshi eggs! Oh my gosh, I love this room. Must buy this month. XS Express train set. Miss Mouse doll with real smooching action. Another! If you played the previous Paper Mario, you know Miss Mouse's special ability was smooching. Survival Horror Romance Sim, Larry Koopa Zombie Heartbreaker. Oh, I wonder if the Koopalings are in this game. Magnus Von Grapple Figure. That was a boss in the previous Paper Mario game as well. Tanuki suit made with real Tanuki fur. Harder than Bedrock. The Rock Hog Story DVD? What? Harder than Bedrock? Dude, Rock Hog. TTYD reference. I love this. Issue 47 of Cyborg Wart. Wart? Being, what, Super Mario Bros. 2? Uh, Doki Doki Panic Boss? And that radio-controlled Professor Frankly. Professor Frankly was the Goomba with glasses. Remember, radio-controlled and a lot of more sweet stuff. Dude, that's so awesome. Wait, Excess Express. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Excess Express, I didn't realize that. I'm sorry, the Excess Express was the chapter that all of you guys loved in TTYD, but I hated. The murder mystery one. Miss Mouse Doll, we knew that one. Survival Horror Romance Sim, Larry Koopa, Zombie Heartbreaker. I mean, that's just the name of a Koopaling. Magnus Von Grapple. Tanuki, obviously, is a Tanuki suit from Mario Bros. 3. Uh, Harder Than Bedrock. And then a Cyborg War. Uh, and the right of control. Yeah, okay, so we named every single one of the references. There's Mushroom Keychains. This is absolutely really cool. I love this. And then there's little Yoshi eggs on top. And what is that? <gasps> Is that the- is that a Nintendo Switch on its side, laying down? Whoa, what if? With a detachable Joy-Con? No way, guys, no way. 14 years in the past, absolutely not, screen cap that. 
that looks exactly like a Nintendo Switch laying down and you're looking at it at a side thin profile. Oh my gosh. What if? You wish that was a sensor bar. Nah, son. What if? Dang, you wish that was a sensor bar? That's clearly a Nintendo Switch on there, just saying. Uh, Petunia? Was it Petunia? I don't know. But that was a cool room. I enjoyed it. We got ourselves a key. And we saw, like, the little hidden Easter egg references. That's very cute, and I love that. So thank you. That was the first thing that came to mind. But most likely it was a sensor bar. If it was a Nintendo Switch, 14 years, no, it wouldn't make any sense. It's just like, your eyes are trained to see what you want them to see. It's like, when you look at things, you're trained to see, uh, you know, faces, right? That's the thing, like, you're trained to see faces. Like the face of the man on the moon, right? No man on the moon, it's just Rorschach, dude. All right, 28, 28, let's go. That's a little flying turd. Three of them, what are you guys doing? Yo, what? I, I kind of want this experience though. Mm, let's go. Boing, yes, with actual Mario. Yeah, yeah. Okay, more, more, more. Oh, that's it. Dang, Peach would have had a field day over here. Ah. Wait, hold on, there's two for one right there. Uh, I landed on both of those. Come on, stylish. Peach is pretty wide. It's pretty wide. I'm out. You know, I'm not gonna even finish that boss. I'm out because of how nasty these controls are. I'm not gonna even try again. <laughs> I'm out, dude. I just... No. That's like the rage quit moment. You're just like, no thank you. You know what? Take it. Take it. Video games are totally technical. Yeah, yeah. Into the Basco, 28. Uh, 28. Security meow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wish I had little cat robots. Oh, dang, even more references. Look, yo, we got my son! Different colors of my son. Wow, you got l little Yoshi. You see Vivian over there? You got Bobbery. You got the different colors of my son. All the different colors of him. You got the Punies. You got uh, Professor Hemingway or whatever. You got the little other dude. Just unused assets. So good. It's his manga room and a picture of Princess Peach on the wall. That's funny too. A couple of different pictures of Princess Peach. We have to spin it and see the other references. Oh, Wacka's even there. Look at this. Two up and one up shirts. What? Little anime kitties. Is that Punio? I don't think it's Punio. But uh, there's some other little sprites hidden behind there. You can see Wacka. You can see Wacka behind that one. You can see... I don't know who else, but this is actually really cute. I love this. Princess Peach over there, a little sprite, her old sprite. There's Vivian, this is cool. All right. I love it when they're able to do that because that's kind of like, yo, hey, thank you for playing the two previous games before playing this one. Here's a little something for you to get your, uh, your smiles up again. Because we know how much you hate this game. So maybe if we jog your memory on a, on a much simpler and better time on previous consoles, maybe that'll make you smile a little bit more. So cool. Hello. Wait, may I help you? How do I get out of here? Oh yeah, it's uh, not something I'm supposed to do here. With Peach, it's a Mario thing. Oh, 
We've been at this for three hours. Wow, I cannot believe my life right now. Yo, surfing on carry right here. It's like para carry, but, but like Lackey Lester style. Whoa! You ready to fight? Both keys confirmed, meow. Wait a meow moment. You look nothing like Master. Only Master Francis and totally hot babes are allowed to enter. All others will get the kitty lasers. Okay, well I know a totally hot babe. Hey, hey, chill with those- Whoa, chill with the lasers, lasers man! Ah! Totally hot babes. Chill with those lasers. You almost uh, burnt this hot babe to a crisp. Only master and totally hot babes are allowed to enter. You can enter. After I check to see if you're compatible with Master Francis, that is. Please answer the following questions of true or false, meow. Video games and hot babes are totally high technical. I mean, it's true. If it's limited edition, buy it. Also very true, that's a very big buzzword. I have bought games that I have never played. It's so true. Like, I agree to all these, like, in real life, too. If it's got fierce giant robot on giant robot combat, it's an insta-buy. I mean, who doesn't like giant robots? They're not dolls, they're action figures with real fire-punching action. Yeah, that's true, they're not dolls. I have dumped a friend over an argument about Starship X not propulsion technology. Uh, I can't say I've done that. A sweet cover illustration is way more important than the storyline. No. Never pulled a top copy from a pile of comics. Find the mint condition one. I agree that way about Amiibo. There's like an Amiibo that I need on the shelf. Like, no, like, I'm like, don't take the first one, take the other one, like, inspect them visually, 360. My first love was an anime character. Sorry, I cannot relate to that. Some of you guys, though. Feel free, man. I love going on message boards and complaining about games I've never played. Wow, wow. That's interesting. That aged very well. I love going onto YouTube comment section without playing all the previous two Paper Mario games and complaining about how Abdallah gives this game a hard time. Check yes. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, it's true. Can I just open up? Let's go. Nur, who are you? Hey, what are you doing sneaking in my room, huh? Ever heard of privacy? Oh, there you are, Francis. I've been looking all over for you. For me? Oh, oh my gosh, it's, it's a hot babe. Hot babe in room. Oh, what do I, oh man, a real girl in my room. This is so high technical. <laughs> yeah, must calm down. I'm, I'm get, get, get. Getting way too excited. Sweatles forming. I can't talk to girls. Must get my laptop from Franny Pack. Booting up swoon.exe. Activating nur to babe interspace. Mod with real time wooing. Welcome to my castle. How do you do? Nur. What on earth is that? What is going on here? Nurr, I boot this baby up whenever it's time to talk to the huh, ladies. Sweet! Time for my swoon.exe program to work its magic. Where should I start? What's your name? My name? Uh, oh, me? I'm Peach. Tell me your name first. You can call me annoyed. This is exactly like Super Mario RPG, by the way. The, the scrolling background, 
And then the little frames here, I think it's a nod to Super Mario RPG. For those of you guys that played it. Um, sorry, buddy. I'm not telling you my name. I'm not telling my name to a geek like you. Whoa, what an ice queen. She's so cold. I'm shocked. Oh, man, she's so hard to get, but that's pretty hot, too. Francis revels in the new feelings of attraction. Francis's passion leveled up. Oh, man, what do I do next? Smooch! Oh, he was thinking about it. Look. Hot babe. You're so cute, like a princess straight out of an anime or video game. You can be feisty, but I must say, it uh, adds to your charm. You think I'm charming? Uh, am I really cute? You're making me blush? I'll show you feisty. You want feisty? I'll show you feisty. Lay it on thick like that and you'll get it. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, forgive me, my queen. I'm not a queen, I'm a princess. Nur her, she's super cute when she gets angry. Francis got yelled at. Peach's charisma leveled up. Francis's passion leveled up. What's my next move? Inventory. Give item. What are these things? Hold on, hold on. A rare card collection? Princess Peach signed poster? Vintage? I kind of want to pause the screen to see what inventory he has. Um, as a token of my affection, I'd like to give you a special present. Peach received the pr the pink princess signed poster. Oh, um, this junk won't win me over. Are you trying to impress me with this stupid thing? You've got to be kidding. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's not impressed at all. Boy, she must really be into this stuff. She she's like me. Peach returned the poster. Francis is impressed. Francis' passion leveled way up. Now, what's my next move? Think about the future about anime <laughs> wow we are like so perfect for each other it's destiny we should get married uh, married if you would have me let's take it slow so how much do you make wow gold digger peach over here so how much do you make hey who's picking these responses for me anyway i'm not marrying this dork i shouldn't even be having this conversation i came to save tippy where is she Tippy, hmm, tippy, tippy. Uh, think about the future, uh, inventory. Uh, there's no tippy command here. What's she talking about? <laughs> That's it, I've had it. You better bring her out now. Pixels, boomer. Peach used boomer. Boomer exploded. No, my graphics card! <laughs> okay, you know what? That's very good writing. I think it makes up for the girth section. Uh, that was uh, the only known copy of the Nerd to Babe patch, and uh, now it's gone forever. Real babes are scary. Peach. Tippy. Oh, I was so worried. You, you came to save me. Burgank. So, so you've come to raid my fort and steal Francine? Well, no, I won't let you. <laughs> By the way, I came up with the name Francine on my own. Isn't it sweet? At first, I thought it was a little weird that you could talk and everything. But the digibutter.ner forum reaction convinced me you were high technical. You're my only online friend, Francine. So, so, so no one will take you away from me. Eek! Great. Can't see me, that's because my invisibility powers are totally high technical. Little Francine is hidden, so you can't take her. Feel the wrath of the jilted x naught in the season finale of the Grotus Chronicles. I don't have Tippy. And you're probably just 3D. Oh, you are invisible. Meow Bombs! Oh, I love Meow Bombs. Yahoo! 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 Oh, dang! Yeah, what? Ooh, double dang! I swear it, I swear it. I wanna, I wanna trick every time. Okay, there's gotta be some sort of... Yo, I'll be here, I'll, I'll, I'll be out here all day leveling up.
Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I got- I landed on the one in the middle, which is lame. That's lame. Peach has got to deliver the final blow. You wouldn't dare hit Peach! Peach is slow though. <sighs> so fast! All right, there's got to be a gimmick here to slow him down. I should be able to trace him, right? And then just pop up. There we go. Don't try to lick me! Ooh, right on ya. There we go. Oh, it's an annoying battle. No! I did enjoy bouncing on the little baby kitties, though. I mean, there was a... There wasn't anything really gimmicky about him. I don't know if there's supposed to be something else. Mercy! I don't know if we were supposed to be doing something else, it's just... He only really had two attack patterns. Mario, you guys came to save me. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I'm so happy. What is that? You had the heart, the pure heart, the entire time. But how? It's like Tippy's heart just burst with happiness and released the pure heart. Or... Mario, I was just so happy when I saw that you'd come to save me. Please, take it. Or Tippy's evil. I don't know. That's a little suspicious, Tippy, there. Look, they're doing the Kirby dance. All of them. A little suspicious that you just happened to hold on to it. Tippy. Tippy's the final boss. Watch. No spoilers if she is. I'm just chatting. Uh, the fourth pure heart appeared in a dazzling flash of mysterious light. What made it appear? The group was puzzled by this and very and many other riddles. So, you're not hurt, asked Tippy, full of concern. Somehow, Tippy seemed different than before. She had started to change. Mario simply shook his head and started the long journey back to Flipside. Yeah, we can end it. See ya. Thanks for watching. That's the end of chapter, right? We can end it? <laughs> we can end it, right? Francis? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're done. Okay, GG's. GG's. I think that the, um, let's talk about this boss battle, though. Let's talk about this boss battle. I don't know. I don't know how I felt about it. It was, it seemed relatively easy. I was just out here just doing tricks in order to gain even more, like, experience and stuff like that. But like, if you have good enough reflexes, you just jump on his head, dodge his little tongue attack, and dodge his little drop, and you should be fine. You know, what I really liked- okay, here's what I really liked about the chapter. I think that the chapter- the whole Francis part was awesome. Like, that was the redeeming- redeeming thing about this chapter. Very good. Last chapter was utter trash. Um, this chapter was good. It had some really funny writing with the whole girth thing and whatever his name is, Thumper, whatever that dude is, the little weight guy. That was kind of funny and I laughed out loud. And uh, I think that the little Easter eggs about the previous Paper Mario games were in there, sprinkled in. I thought that was absolutely stunning, so I love that. 
I think the Francis character was cool. I like the little text dialogue, like life simulator going through the menu and like trying to woo Peach over. I think that was really fun too. Let me know what you guys enjoyed about it. Uh, things I didn't like about it? I don't know. What didn't I like? I didn't like the fact that the, the sub-bosses were super easy. Like, there's really nothing to it. I could have done it with my eyes closed. Like, the little blooper. The blooper is just like, oh, I got one red tentacle and only one attack pattern. And the only attack pattern is raising up a tentacle. Like, come on. And then Dementio was like... I think I got hit once because I accidentally jumped into him. So that was weird. I don't know. Maybe I want the game to be a little bit harder. Maybe the game's not supposed to be harder. I, I don't know. But the word hard is subjective to each and every player. So who knows? Anyway. That's exactly oh, what I think about the chapter. Those are my closing thoughts. You guys can let me know your thoughts and everything like that in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for us today. If you guys didn't already watch the previous episodes, uh, make sure you guys do that. Uh, we are on the Paper Mario Road to the Origami King Marathon. It's going to be over here. Origami King, 100% walkthrough. We're going to do everything in that game, and it's going to be amazing. And then by the time we play this game, we'll have all the knowledge of playing through every single Paper Mario main series game. I keep on saying that because there's always that one person that says, Oh, Mabdala, Paper Jam is part of the main series. Uh, and I'm not going to waste my time with Paper Jam, so anyway... So that's it. That's exactly what we got planned over here. Super Paper Mario Sticker Star. We're going to do Color Splash and then Origami King. We'll have these done by that time and it'll be super fun. So by then, if you watched every single one of these episodes, you guys will be competent judges and you can say, hey, objectively, this is my favorite game in the series because this. And I've seen Abdallah play through all of them. So anyway, have a great rest of your day. I'm going to get some lunch. I'll see you guys at Animal Crossing at the top of the hour. And then uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy that. It'll be really fun. Love to have you. Can't wait to read all your comments. What do you guys think about the chapter? Um, no spoilers, of course. Don't do any of that stuff. But it was good. The puzzles this time around really weren't that hard. Um, I guess maybe I kind of opened my eyes to a little bit more things. And I was a little bit more um, open to some of the puzzles. We stumbled upon a couple of silly things, and we got Carrie, too. And Carrie's design choice is really, really questionable. Um, yeah, I mean, people might get offended by that. Especially if Carrie was, like, an upside-down version of what she actually is. I think people would get really offended by that. So I don't know if that aged very well, but... Anyway, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Uh, be sure to hit that like button on your way out. I'll see you tomorrow morning for the exact uh, chapter th four. Chapter four, yeah. And that's like the halfway point, so it'll be fun. All right, take care. Have a good one.